In this video, I'm going to provide an introduction to problem set five, which is going to cover an introduction to the concept of time series and time series modeling. And as sort of subsets of that, we're going to look at how we diagnose whether we have an AR1 or an MA1 process. We're also going to look at how we determine whether a process is non-stationary. And we're going to look at the particular tests of that. So we're going to look at the Dickey-Fuller test. We're also going to look at the concept of what it means for two variables to be co-integrated. And finally, we're going to look at quite a few examples of spurious regression. OK, so you can see that there are a lot of topics which are being covered in this particular problem set. And because of that, the practical element unlike the other problem sets, is actually going to lack the freestyle element at the uh, sort of end of it. Uh, I apologise for this, it's just due to the fact that we need to get in um, a whole range of different topics and there really wasn't time, a sufficient time to include a freestyle element. And the practical element here is going to be looking at Eurozone and um, full world data and we're going to be looking at economic data so this particular data is for the Eurozone as a whole and for the world as a whole. So in that sense, it's quite interesting. So you've got things like GDP, uh, measures of unemployment, the exchange rate, etc. And we're going to be using these time series to cover each of these different topics off in turn. The theoretical part of this particular problem set is going to be covering, firstly, what we actually, what are the conditions for a particular type of process to be stationary. And we're going to be looking at that in regard to an ARMA 1-1 process. We're also going to be looking at the conditions for an AR2 process to be stationary. We're also going to be looking at what it means for two processes to be co-integrated. Finally, just like all the other videos, I'm going to be providing written answers, full written answers to each of these questions. So after you're done with the problem set, you can just go ahead and download the answers and compare your answers with those which I've written.